punch some stuff, kick some stuff. We're going to be punching, kicking, kneeing, elbowing, hitting some cardio, tons of movement. We're going to be dripping sweat when this is done. We're going to be going through the basics. We're going to get warmed up. If you have a bag, you can use a bag. If not, I've been doing at least 50% of my boxing in the last five months just in the air from teaching the sessions, taking the sessions, and then the other 50% hitting a bag when I have it or when I can follow along on a bag. But it, I'm telling you this, every time I've, I've done the sessions in the air, it's almost harder than the bag to have to throw the punches, pull the punch, and change directions without something to stop to help you change your direction. So you don't necessarily need a bag for these workouts. You're still going to burn tons of calories. You're going to have fun. You're still going to work on that technique, your speed, your control, your balance, your core, your entire body. Even if you don't have a bag, even if you don't have gloves, you can just be punched in the air. You want a little extra challenge, you can put a one pound, two pound dumbbell in your hands. You won't need anything more than that because that's going to be more than enough, hard enough as it is, even with just these, these are just four ounce gloves and they feel like four pounds at the end of the workout, four, 40 pounds at the end of the workout. So we're going to get loosened up. We're going to get warmed up. Let's just start walking forward with big forward shoulder circles. Walk backwards with big backward shoulder circles, loose. Shoulders, just getting them greased up, ready to punch. We'll be throwing thousands of punches over the next 60 minutes. So we need to take our time, warming them up, getting them ready. Forward shoulder circles going forward, backwards, shoulder circles going backwards. Bumping it out one more time each direction. Forward and come backwards. Now let's go in and out with those shoulders. In and out, right arm on top, right arm on bottom. Same thing, we're still moving front and back just to keep that blood flowing, get those legs ready to move, fling it. A little bit more, a couple more times. And we're still going to walk. We're just going to catch it for a second. Fling it, catch it. Fling it, catch it. I'm still moving forward and backwards. Catch it for one to three seconds, whatever you need. You need a little extra hold, hold it for a couple extra seconds. Do what you got to do. Moving forward and backwards, just slowly with the feet. Fling it. Make sure you're going with the right arm on top one time, whenever you did those shoulder swings. All right, now let's get a quad stretch. Quad stretch, we're going to be walking backwards and forwards with a quad stretch. So we're going to bring our heel to our glute, step back, heel to our glute, step back. Same thing, holding it again, one, three seconds. Make sure you bring the heel up to your leg, or, or, or leg up to your body. Don't bring your body down to the leg. Same thing moving forward. Get that glute stretch, step forward. Glute stretch, or quad stretch, step forward. The leg you're standing on, make sure that knee stays slightly bent. So you're walking all the way forward, all the way back. Stretch it, step it. Right back, keeping your body as straight as you can. Try not to lean or wiggle wobble, so at the same time, you're warming this leg up for balance. And let's come forward and back with a knee hug. Hug the knee, step down. Hug the knee, step down. Hold it for just a split second or one to three seconds, whatever you need to. Same thing, we're gonna hug it, step back, hug it, Step back, getting ready to move. All right, next you're gonna find someone to hold on to. You're already throwing some kicks and knees today also. So if you can find someone to hold on to, even if it's just a wall, we're gonna do front and back leg swings. So the, the, the side that you're holding on is the same side you're gonna kick with because this opposite arm is gonna swing with it. So I'm gonna swing back and bring that toe up to the finger. I'm just whipping that hip up. Breathe it out. Just about six to eight side, fling it. Boom, right there. Switch sides. So the arm that you're balancing on, that's the same side that's kicking. Just whip it back. Let it open up. Loose, loose. You're not muscling up there. It's just swinging. Shoulder swinging, the hip is swinging. Same thing going side to side now. So I'm just going to turn my back. You can see I'm holding on with both sides. I'm going to point my toes to, all the way to the left. My left foot is facing straight. Point my toes to the left, point them to the right. So just hip swings side to side. Whip it across. Just six to eight each side. Other side. Whip the hip. You can hold a chair, wall, whatever it is. Doesn't matter. Just open the hip up. Twist to the left. Open up to the right. Don't forget, on Facebook, all this stuff is opposite. This is the right side. This is the left side. You will need to know how to take because we'll be shuffling to your left and your right specifically and doing specific things on the left and the right. So realize... When you're looking at Facebook, this is like a, a mirror. This is the left side, this is the right side. All right, let's get our basic punches in. Get those hands up first, elbows tucked into your ribs. 
Bounce in your step, on the ball is your feet, little flow, little rhythm. Time to wake your ass up, let's do it. Your left is your, your, your straight left is your one. Your right hand stays glued to your chin. Snap it out there, turn the fist over. You're pouring out a cup of water. Snap it like a corkscrew. Breathe it out. Light on your feet. Snap it. Let's go with our two. This is our straight right. You can see I'm turning. If I step back here, you can see me turn the hip. Pivot that right foot. Two. Right down the middle, keeping that left hand up the whole time. So whatever hand's not punching, that's his left hand. Stays up at home, guarding your face. Two. Right down the middle. Snap it. Just loosening up. Let's go to three. Our left hook. Boom. Even if you know these punches, you, you, can, you still need practice. You never can get too much practice. Turn that elbow. Elbow's bent 90 degrees. That three, that left hook. Don't forget, this is a, a left. Looks like on Facebook it's a right, but think of it as a mirror. Just think of you're looking into a mirror, and it's just a bald, ugly, white guy sitting there looking back at you. Turn that hip for the three. Let's go to the four. Boom. Four. Pivot that right foot, boom. Keep that left hand up. Boom, right there, elbow up and out. Reset, bounce, flow, rhythm, light on your feet. Balls of your feet. Boom, let's go to the five. That's your left uppercut, your five. Get that waist into it, the lats, the obliques. Right there, crunch. Coming under the chin. And reset. Drive it in. Right away to the six, the right uppercut. You can get plenty more practice with these. Crunch it in, hands up. Simple stuff, just refreshing, loosening up. Move around, bounce around, find your flow, get some head, head movement. So you don't wanna just be standing in place, flat footed like this, just throwing this over and over. That's useless, you're not gonna burn any calories, you're not gonna get any good technique. You wanna be moving, you want energy, and then one punch, reset, move around. Have some energy. Boom, right there, six. All right, shake those arms out, shake those arms out, bounce it out, bounce it out, shake them. Just getting moving. All right, pay attention. So we're gonna be, think of having two sides to your room. You have the left side of your room and the right side of your room. So clear as much of the space side to side as you can. Remember, you're not on camera here, this is, you're just following along, so you can use as much space as you need to. So what we're gonna start with is just a basic shuffle. Just a side shuffle where we're shuffling to our left side of our room and to our right side of our room. It's gonna move a couple. Clear your space, move out of the way, right, right, move out of the way if you want some extra space. So you can come all the way across as far of range as you can. So we're gonna continue getting those punches down, punching in the air. If you have a heavy bag, just make that be one side. Or you can shuffle out and shuffle back in and do both on, on your heavy bag if you want. But we're gonna be here in the air, so figure out how you wanna do this with the air or the bag, whatever works for you. We're gonna throw our, our one on this left side of the room. We're gonna shuffle across, throw our two. Shuffle across, one. Shuffle across, two. Let's do it, we're moving, let's begin. So it's just a regular side shuffle, fast feet. Shuffle across, two. Glide across the floor, pop that one. So get there, plant your feet, pivot, boom. Shuffle across. If you have your own speed down, you're all going to be at different lengths of your room. And when I stop to tell you, to explain this stuff, you keep moving. Don't stop this because I'm stopping here. So you might have a different distance, so you're not going to be necessarily punching. As long as you're doing a, left, a straight left on the left, straight right on the right. So this round, maybe you're, if you have a heavy bag, your heavy bag's on this side, you hit your straight left, shuffle across to the right, hit your right on the right side of the air, come back to your bag, pop it, and next round, you could just flip around and go the other way so you're getting an even, even number on each side. But keep flowing. Straight left, just get moving. These are our basic punches. Straight left is our one. Straight right is our two. Boom! We're starting to get loosened up. Our heart rate's starting to get up. Body temperature is raising. Don't forget, whatever hand we punch, the other hand stays at home. Protect that face. And listen, if you're like me with this ugly mug, you need all the protection you can get. We, people like me can't take too much more damage in the ugly department. Snap it. Glide across. Boom. Right there. Snap. Pop. Shuffle across. A few more times. Just getting those legs moving, warmed up. You realize you want some more space, you're bumping into shit. Move it out of the way. Boom. Glide across and pop. And bam. There it is. All right, we're going to go to a 3-4 next, but we're going to switch our shuffle the way we went across the floor. 
So that was just a basic shuffle, right? This time it's going to be a high knee lateral shuffle to get across the floor. You're going to do a three on the left side. High knee lateral shuffle across the floor and four on the right side. So if you had your heavy bag over here, you were throwing your lefts on the heavy bag. Every combo today, the left side of the room is going to start with your left arm or left leg. The right side of the room is going to start with your right arm or right leg. So let's do it. High knee lateral shuffle, three. High knee lateral shuffle, across the floor, four. Boom. So if you wanted to get the right arm on the bag this time, just face this way with your bag over here. So when you get over here, your right arm hits the bag. High knee lateral shuffle across, and your three will be in the air. You figure it out. Or you can shuffle around your bag. It really depends on the situation you have set up in your house. That's how the spacing is. You figure out when you're on the bag and when you're not. You want to be doing your left on the left, your right's on the right. Let's do it. Keep rolling. High knee lateral shuffle across. Bam! Right hook. High knee lateral shuffle. Boom. Left. Pump those legs up. Thighs parallel to the floor. Left hook on the left. Right hook on the right. Bam, there it is. Pump those legs, brace those abs. Breathe it out. We are rolling. We're getting things moving now. Get those legs up there. I need a high knee lateral shuffle. A lot harder than that regular shuffle we already did. Pump that across the floor, boom. Bouncing your step. Light on your feet. Left hook. Couple more. Bam, time. All right, we're going to fives and sixes. Remember, five is our left upper, six is our right upper. The way we're gonna get across the floor now is a butt kick lateral shuffle. We have two cameras on. One is across, one is up and down. Butt kick is now heels going back. So high knees, knees are coming up. Butt kick, heels are going back. So you're here, just drifting side to side. Let's do it. Left upper cut on the left, that's your five. Butt kick, lateral shuffle across, keep those hands up. Six on the right, just one punch. Simple shit. So when you get there, you did all that work to get there. Make that punch. Boom. Count. Butt kick. Shuffle across. And hard punch. Don't sit there and bullshit when you get over there. You're doing all this work to get there. Do some damage with that punch. Left upper. Pump it across. Breathe it out. Right upper. As you're shuffling across, try to keep those hands up, elbows in. Maintain your guard. Left upper. Butt kick, lateral shuffle across. If you have any questions or comments as we're going, put them on there. I see some coming in on the Instagrams. Let me just get these open. Here we go. All right, yeah, if you need help with anything, have any questions, comments, whatever it is, let's talk about it. Yes. So right upper, boom. Butt kick across, hands up, and bam. Glide, zip, bounce. Breathe out for that punch. I want some power on those punches. It's only one punch. Boom. Uppercut. Through the roof. Pump it. Yes. Light on your feet. Get those hands up. Hands up. Boom. You're going to get sucker punch. I see those hands drop. I will come right there. Bam. Right there. Keep it moving. Butt kick. Keep them up. Keep them up. I actually almost busted my ass. There's a loose mat right in front of these cameras. When I came here to, to punch you, I almost busted my ass. You would have enjoyed that. Let me move more of this shit out of the way before I actually do bust my ass. Kettlebells, medicine balls, dumbbells all over the place. That's how you get quarantined. In quarantine, as long as you got a lot of exercise, equipment, water, and ammo, of course, you're all good. What more do you need? Time on the uppers. Shake it. Shake it. So we're going to switch our shuffle up again. This time, we're picking it up. It's going to be a squat, jump, lateral shuffle. Don't think be crazy jump. You want to be safe on your knees. So you're going to squat down, hop to the side, hop to the side. When we get to the left side, it's just left front kick. When you squat jump over the right, it's just a right front kick. Simple stuff. Just getting rolling. Just getting rolling. We have so much shit to get to. We have about two hours worth of work to get in this one hour. Let's do it. Right kick on the right. Let's go front kicks today. If you have a bag, you can go roundhouse. It's just weird shit to do in the air. So we stick with front kicks in the air roundhouse if you have a bag. If you want to do a front kick on the bag, fuck it, do it. 
Let's go. Squat, jump across. Hop. Light on your feet. Listen to my feet. Listen, listen. Barely here. 185 pounds. You, should, you don't hear it. And I'm not just playing concrete here. I moved the mats out of the way because they were fucking tripping for the shuffling. Right kick. So you need to be, even if you're getting high, look at the high, and still land on your feet. Left front kick on the left. Squat jump across. Work it. Listen, just because I can't see you doesn't mean you need to be bullshitting. Don't bullshit on these squat jumps. Get some air, get some space, but, but low impact. Light on the feet, bounce across. What's up, Dana? Dana is joining us. And listen, if you have any questions, comments, can you help something in the, in the chat below? I'll check it every once in a while to see what's going on. Bounce it out. Whew. Hands up, hands up. Light on your feet. Boom. Bounce. Flow. Yeah, pump those legs up. Getting that blood flowing. Our heart rate's getting up. You sure you're breaking a little bit of sweat? Get up there. Hands up in the guard the whole time. And right kick. If you're doing these right and keeping your pace going, yeah, they suck. But we love it. We wouldn't have it any other way than sucking. We wouldn't have it any other freaking way than challenging us, than pushing us, and making us work hard. We don't want easy shit. Ha! Huh? All right. Next shuffle is going to be split jack shuffle. You back up here so you can see it. You know split jacks is the front to back jack with the feet. As you're moving left to right. Left side is left elbow, right side, right elbow. So start whatever side you're on, really doesn't matter. Left elbow, split jack, lateral shuffle, getting you across, right elbow. Elbow is very similar to a hook. Your hand is just tucked in. Think of bam, slash the elbow. You can either come straight across, even angle downward, even a little better, a little more damaging. Just imagine. That bone, uh, right across the face. Damn it. Right elbow on the right, front to back, jack, split jack, left elbow on the left. You decide how far of a distance you want. And listen, keep moving, keep moving while I'm yapping over here. Think about it. You determine on this workout, do you want more cardio movement or do you want more striking? So if you want more striking, look, check it out. Just go real short distance, elbow. If you want, you can go real short distance. Or maybe that's a space you're limited to. Maybe you're stuck in a freaking elevator right now and you're joining us while you're in an elevator. That's the only space you have. But it just goes to show you. You can do this shit anywhere. Wherever you are in the world, you can be on vacation, you can be in a hotel room and still get in the best shape of your life. Guaranteed. Front to back jacks. Light on your feet. And left elbow. Bounce in. Your step. Woo! Right elbow. Bam! Land on your feet. Balls of your feet. Not on your heels. Left elbow. Bounce. Blow. Rhythm. And boom. Abs are strong the whole time. Big abs. Every set is an ab set. Every exercise is an ab exercise. If you saw how much I actually worked my abs, you'd be shocked. And when they do your work, it's for just strength or functionality, not just a bunch of crunches or silks or some bullshit thinking it's going to make them look good and flat. Hell no. Keep, keep bouncing, keep bouncing. You get the flat abs. You get them from having some freaking nutritional discipline in the damn kitchen. That's where you get them from. But you still want them to be strong. So nutritional discipline will make you lose the fat there a little bit, but you still want to be strong and functional, which is why really the only core work, whatever the hell you want to call it, is for strength and functionality. The look is coming from your damn discipline, from you putting down the damn cheeseburger and passing on the bullshit when your friends are trying to pressure you. Time on that set. Yeah, we can get babbling and then you're still bouncing it out, right? All right, so now we have knees. Left knee. Right knee, we're back to our original shuffle. So we're going to be rotating between these five different shuffles. Regular shuffle, high knee, butt kick, squat jump, split jack. We did all five. We're looping back to the beginning. So it's regular shuffle, shuffle across. Right knee, shuffle across. Left knee. We're still on the first round of the day. 
This is just a, the first, really the warm up, the secondary warm up round. Just getting freaking rolling. Let's do it. Shuffle across. And again, remember, short shuffle if you want. If you want to get more knees in, short shuffle. If you want more of the cardio moving in, longer shuffle. Go across. Go across the whole damn parking lot. Go across the whole damn beach. Go across the whole fucking town. Doesn't matter. Just keep freaking moving. Boom. Shuffle across. Land on your feet. Bam. Left knee. Glide across. Right knee. If you have a bag, you determine what side it's on. Switch up your position each round. So one time, you're getting the left side of the bag. Next round, you get the right side. All day today, all combos that leave the left are going to be on the left side. All combos that leave the right are going to be on the right side. Zip across, right across, and boom. Here it is. Keep those hands up while you're shuffling. Left knee, right knee. Breathe it out. A couple more. Boom. Drive that knee right up the gut. Think of that knee coming up to the chin or digging huh, into the gut, or even better, bam, a low blow, the nut shot. Do what you gotta do. And time, and listen, as much as we're here for working out, relieving stress, dealing with a freaking quarantine, burning fat, getting in shape, looking good, having energy, having endurance, having durability, all that shit. I'm telling you, this, this stuff we're doing is not bullshit technique, this is real boxing technique. These are real knees, a real knee, to the face, not even with too much pressure, will bash a freaking nose open, will knock teeth out, a knee to the groin, a nut shot, damaging stuff. So take this stuff serious. Don't just go through the motions. Literally, this stuff could help you one day in a real life situation where you need to just do what you have to do so you can make your exit. All right, we're gonna go to two strike combos. So on the left side, and you know every time the left side is gonna start on the left. So the left side, we're going to be with a one, two. We're going to, our next shuffle, we're back to the high knee, shuffle number two, high knee shuffle across, and we're going to be on a two, one. So just the opposite combo on each side. One, two on the left, two one on the right, high knee lateral shuffle gets us across the way, and look, check this out with the high knee lateral shuffle. It's not these big, gigantic crisscross shuffles. Look, it's a fast kick and a slow drift. Let's do it in three, two, one, boom, let's do it. Let's roll, one, two, high knee lateral shuffle across to the right side, two, one, high knee lateral shuffle across, keep those knees up, keep them up, damn it, right across, pump those legs, fast pump, but slow drift, two, one on the right, hands up, one, two, on the left, two, one on the right, keep it moving, Costello, what's up? Freak! Romanian freak, or Yugoslavian, or some, one of those places. Pump it up. Two, one. Right down the side. Zip it. Knees up. Pump those knees up. Abs are strong! Listen, you never know when you're going to take a shot to the gut. They should be firm all day. All freaking day. Pump it out, get those knees up. One, two on the left. Two on the right, don't forget this is my right, that's my left. Get your shit together. Pump it. High knee across. Oh, there we go, land on our feet. Bounce it out. Get it going. Yes. Get those knees up. Two, one. One, two on the left. One more on the right. Keep it moving. Boom. All right, we got three, four, and four, three coming up. Three, four is gonna be on the left. Four, three on the right. The way we're getting across the floor is our butt, kick, lateral, shuffle. Butt, kick, lateral, shuffle. All right, let's do it. We're rolling, we're rolling. You don't need no damn break. You'll get a break when this is over. So four, three, on the right. Butt kick, lateral shuffle gets you across for a three, four. So it's all hooks here. Butt kick, let's go, we're going, we're rolling. Follow me. Bounce it across. 
Butt kick, lateral, shuffle to your left. And three, four, kick it. Pump it out, pump it out. Four, three. Hands up while you're doing that shuffle. That bounce in your step. Three, four, butt kick. Four, three, boom. Bounce in your step. Light on your feet. Breathe it out those hooks. Big bombs, big punches. Real punches, don't bullshit. Heels back to the glutes. Bounce in your step. Light on your feet. There's a video pause, but whatever. Whatever. Bounce it out. Pump it, pump it. Those hands up. Three, four, boom, boom. On the left. Bounce it out. And four, three on the right. One more each side. Butt kick lateral shuffle is getting us there. Time. Shake it, shake it. Instagrams. Pause for a second, but we're all good. We are still just getting rolling. All right, we got five, six on the left. Over on the right, we got six, five. The way that we're getting there is the squat jump lateral shuffle. One that sucks the most, well, the one we freaking love the most because we love the shit that sucks the most. Let's do it. Right side, six, five. Six, five on the right. Squat, hop to the left. So my feet are staying apart the whole time. They're not coming together. Five, six, on the left. After that last landing, get into your stance, left leg forward. Six, five. You have this down, you have different space, you're going at your own pace here, so modify for me. If you can't squat, just do a partial squat walk right there. Do what you have to do. Five, six. Squat jump across on those squats. Make sure you sit back on your hips and your heels. Low impact. Bounce in your step, land, get into your stance, left leg forward. Six, five. Get up there. Hands up in the guard the whole time, low impact. Five, six on the left, that's a left upper, right upper. If you have this down, you just keep zipping across whatever distance you have. You don't have to go with me. Sure, I need to stop to talk about it. You still keep freaking moving. Breathe it out. Five, six, pump it, and a six, five, boom, let's keep rolling, a couple more, last one, finish it, keep working, six, five, time, we're going back to our kicks, except this time, you know we're starting the combos with the left on the left side. So this left side will be left kick, right kick. We're getting across the floor with our fifth shuffle. Second time get through this. It's that split jack. Lateral shuffle with the feet are front to back. And you glide across the floor. Low impact, light on your feet. All right, let's roll, let's do it. So you have left kick, right kick on the left. Right kick, left kick on the right. Split jack, lateral shuffle to get there. Follow me. Let's do it. Right kick, left kick, split jack. To get across our kick, with hands up, protect that ugly bum. Left kick, right kick, split jack across. Hands are up. Bounce in your step. Boom, boom. Get that foot in there. Foot to the face. Foot to the gut. Foot, boom, to the nuts. Split jack, lateral, shuffle. Bounce in your step and boom, boom. Light on your feet, low impact. Feet going front to back to get across the floor. And don't forget, you want to get more kicks in? Look, check it out. Do a couple, kick right, left. Do a couple to your left, kick left, right. Completely up to you. Or each time, shuffle a different distance. Switch it up each set, each round, each rep. Like literally, once I'm across the floor, go long way, boom, boom, 
Next time, just go short. Then come back to the right. Boom. Boom. Go long to the left. Mix it up. Play a game in your head to get you through this. To challenge yourself. To push yourself. To make it harder. To have some mother freaking fun. Keep those hands up. Bouncing your step. Boom. Boom. There it is. Breathe it out. Light on your feet and kick. Kick. Right, left, on right. We're heading left. It's left, right on the left. Boom. Bounce. Bounce. Light. Smooth. And boom. Nothing smooth about that, sucker. Smooth on the shuffle. Vicious. Boom on the strikes on the side. Fly across. And finish it off. On the left. Boom. Boom. Ha. All right, we got elbows. Left side, gonna have left elbow, right elbow. Right side, gonna have right elbow, left elbow. We are rotating through our five ways of getting across the floor. So we're back to number one, variation number one, which is the regular shuffle. She's shuffling across the floor, left elbow, right elbow, on the left. Shuffle across the floor, right elbow, left elbow, on the right. We got it? Let's do it in three, two, one, bam. Let's roll. Shuffle across. Left elbow, right elbow. Shuffle across. Right elbow, left elbow. Yeah. Very similar to a hook. Play around with your distances you have. This one should be a quick, smooth shuffle. It's the easiest one, but the fastest one. That means you're just zipping across the floor, even longer distances. Breathe out for those elbows. Slash that elbow bone, that forearm bone. Bam, right into the face. Rip open the eyelid. Why am I doing a front and back shuffle? Shuffle across. Zip. And boom, boom. Zip. Stance, always get your stance at the end. So when I'm shuffling, I'm squared up side to side. Once I'm done with my shuffle, I'm gonna stagger off the left leg forward and then do my combo. Make sure you're doing that. So don't do the strikes with your feet squared up straight across each other. Get in that stance, that last step. Shuffle across. Zip it. Elbow, elbow. Right across, glide. Boom, boom. Bash that freaking bone in there. Vicious, vicious, vicious. Ha, ha. Oh yeah. Let's roll. Slash that elbow in. Split the dome open. Short range strike. Zip across. Oh yeah. Get the heart rate up. That body temperature. Elevate. Control your breathing. You can do this shit. You can do this shit all day. You are a freak. You are a damn warrior. You are a freaking savage. Ta! All right, we're gonna bump up to three strike combos. Three strike combos. Gonna keep it real simple. Left side, we know the left side starts to the left. Right side starts to the right. Left side's gonna simply be a one, two, three. We're gonna get across with our high knee lateral shuffle because that's the shuffle we're on. High knee lateral shuffle across. And you're gonna go four, sorry, four, five, six. So one, two, three on the left. And four, five, six on the right. High knee lateral shuffle is gonna get us across the freaking floor. We are going in three, in two, in one. Bam, I'm on the right side, so I'm gonna jump right into it. Four, five, six. High knee lateral shuffle. Keep those hands up. One, two, three. High knee lateral shuffle. Make sure we want technique on those punches. Look, pivot, crunch, twist. The whole body turning into each punch. Real techniques, don't just bullshit. Not just some arm punch bullshit that's not doing anything for you. It's not gonna be an effective actual strike when you're talking about self-defense. It's not gonna burn calories. It's gonna strain your shoulders. 
lose, lose, lose situation if you're not taking this shit seriously. High knees up, thighs parallel to the floor. High knee to the left. Make sure you're not stomping down. A little bounce in your step, balls to your feet. One, two, three. High knee across. Oh yeah. Pump those knees. Hands up in the guard. One, two, three. Bounce it. Bounce it out. Four, five, six. That's hook, upper, upper on the right. We're heading left for a straight, straight hook. That's a one, two, three. Let's go. Right hook, left upper, right upper. Four, five, six. High knees. Left straight, right straight, left hook. Bouncing it out. Pumping it out. Four, five, six. Pump it. Bounce it. One, two, three. Boom. Four, five, six. Yes, one more inside. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. One, two, three. Boom. Those knees up. Get them up, get them up. And boom, boom, boom. High. All right, we are going to three strikes. Stick with the three strikes. We're going with those alternate strikes. So this side, this time, pay attention. Focus, focus. You should be only focused on this. You should not be looking at your damn phone. You shouldn't be talking to the family, not to the kids this time. This is your freaking time, your freaking hour. Focus, because I saw you drifting there. I saw you. Don't let that shit happen. You need to focus on what you're doing. One thing at a time. Right now, this is it. This is the most important thing in your world right freaking now. Nothing else has a priority over this right now. All right. So on the left side, the left side, you are going to be on a left kick, left elbow, left knee, right side, right kick, right elbow, right knee. The way that we're getting there is our butt kick lateral shuffle. We got it. We rolling. We ready to roll. We are going in three, two, one, boom. Let's do it. Kick. Elbow, knee on the left. Butt kick, lateral shuffle, get those cross, get those hands up. Keep that freaking hands up. Kick, elbow, knee, boom. Butt kick, shuffle, gets us across. And a kick, elbow, knee on the left. Butt kick gets us to the right, we're moving right. We are moving right with a kick. Knee, butt kick. Boom, boom, knee, yes. So all three alternate strikes on the left and all three alternate strikes on the right, all right side. All my righty stuff, bam. Elbow, knee, working the entire body here. Bouncing your step, light on your feet, kick, elbow, boom on the knee, bounce. No impact, you're doing this right here. Keep those hands up, brace your core, no impact on the ground. Boom, boom, boom. Chain it together as much as you can. Keep it smooth. Butt kick, lateral shuffle, get you across the floor. To your other side, bam, bam, boom. Butt kick. Boom, boom, boom. It's kick, elbow, knee. And butt kick gets us across. Land on your feet. Get there, front kick, left elbow. Uh, left knee, drive it, and right elbow. We never stop moving. Do not stop moving. Modify before you stop. Modify before you quit. There's always a modification for everything. Boom. Boom. Bam. If your heart rate's not up. If you're not dripping sweat, you're doing something wrong. Because I'm in fairly decent shape, and I'm just punching the air. And I'm soaking wet right now, dripping sweat, out of breath. I mean, I'm also babbling the whole time. You should try working out some time where you're just yapping the whole freaking time. Just yelling the whole time like this. Actually, makes it work out a lot more fun. Time. Yeah, if you're in a regular gym, try that out in a regular gym. See how it goes. See how it works out. When you're working out, just talk to yourself the whole time. Be like, yeah, sucker. 
One more when you're on the bench press. Just scream it out. Every set. Every set. You're jumping rope in the corner in the gym. In the big commercial gym. Try that out. That is the beauty of doing this at home. You can do whatever the flip you want. All right. We are now going back to three punch combos. All three lefts on the left. All three rights on the right. So on our left side, we're going to be on one, three, five. We're going to get across to our right with our squat, jump, lateral, shuffle for our two, four, six. So straight hook, upper on the left, straight hook, upper on the right. Getting there with our fourth variation of getting across the floor of our shuffle, which is the squat, jump, lateral shuffle, lateral hop. We got it? You got it? Pay attention. Pay attention. Listen, we're deep into this right now. Do not start fading. Do not start drifting. I will show up at your doorstep. Let's do it. On this right side, we're starting. Whatever side you're on, it doesn't matter. Two, four, six. Squat jump to get there. Breathe it out. Light on your feet. Sit back on the hips and the heels. One, three, five. Squat jump to get there. Hands up in the guard. Abs are tight. Sit back on your hips and heels. Back is straight. Boom. There it is. Hands up. Breathe. You sit back on your hips and heels, your glutes, your quads. Your core is working. Straight. Hook. Up around the left. Squat jump to get across there. Land on your feet. Oh, yeah. Two. Four, six. Boom, we're pushing it. Push the pace. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Squat jump. Get up there. Hands up in the guard. Two, four, six. Squat jump. Don't, don't slam on your knees. Straight. Hook. Upper. Get across. You're working. Yeah, your legs should be on fire. If they're not on fire, you're doing something wrong. You're bullshitting. Boom. We're pumping it. We're pushing it. We're doing it. One, three, five on the left. Two, four, six on the right. Let's roll. Straight. Hook. Upper. Whatever can is not punching. Stays up in your chin the entire time. Bang it out. Pump it. Oh yeah. And time. Shake it. Shake it out. For some reason we lost our Instagram. There, we're back on. Instagram decided to shut on us. We're back. All right. Shake it out. Check it out. We are going. We did single punch combos. We did double punch combos. And yeah, I'm out of breath. As should you be. If you're not, you're not pushing the pace hard enough. You're just not. I'm telling you that. You should be out of breath. So we're going, we did what single punch combos. We did two strike combos. We did three. We're now up to the top of the mountain. Six strike combos. Our shuffle across the floor is variation five that we've been working on, which is the split jack. Lateral shuffle. On the left side, we're all six punches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Split jack lateral shuffle over to the right side. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper on the left. Upper, upper, hook, hook, straight, straight. On the right, I'll walk you through it if that's confusing, but if you've been with us for this entire hour, you already have this shit down. You already know the shuffles. You know the punches. You know the combos. Let's roll. Going in three, two, one, boom. Right side, six, five, four, three, two, one. And you're gonna high knee, or sorry, split jacket. Split jack, lateral shuffle, that's the front to back jack. Hands in the guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. On the left, split jack across. This is right upper, left upper, right hook, left hook, right straight, left straight. Here's six, five, four, three, two, one. In case you don't have a combo, this split jack is fast, smooth, but low impact. One, two, three, four, five, six. Split jack across. Keep moving. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Jacket. Jacket. Hands up. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. Yeah. We are rolling over the right side. Split jack.
jack, lateral shuffle. Right up a couple knees away, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. Bounce, flow, rhythm, shuffle, cruising, and it's a left, right, left, right, left, right. Split jack across. Keep those hands up. Light on your feet. Bounce in your freaking step. Boom, 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 and pop, pop. To finish. Get across there. Light on your feet. Zip across. Breathe it out. Pop, pop, boom, boom, bam, boom. Oh yeah. Bounce, blow, rhythm. Let's do it. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bounce in your step. One more shot. Let's roll. Flow, flow across. And six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, we're gonna do a six strike combo with the alternate strikes. So it's gonna be left kick, right kick, left elbow, right elbow, left knee, right knee. See how it started on the left side? That's on the left side. We're gonna get across to the right side with our regular lateral shuffle. And it's gonna be right kick, left kick, right elbow, left elbow, right knee, left knee. You've already got this flow down, you got the template down, you've been with us the whole time. If not, follow along, I will walk you through it. Let's roll. So we're gonna start with start regular shuffle. We're gonna shuffle over to our left side. Lateral shuffle over to here. Left kick, right kick, left elbow, right elbow, left knee, right knee, shuffle across. Right kick, left kick, right, left on the elbow, right, left on the knee. So kick, kick, elbow, elbow, knee, knee. Just depends if you're going left, right, left, right, left, right, or on the right side is right, left. Right, left, right, left on the knee. Just kick, kick, out, over the knee. Shuffle across. Let it have a rhythm to it, a little flow. Shuffle across. Zip across the floor. Kick, kick, elbow, elbow, knee, knee. Shuffle. Start with the right. Kick, kick. Elbow, elbow, knee, knee. Zip across. Boom, boom. Bam, bam, yes. Zip across. Boom, boom on the kicks. Pop, pop on the elbow. Bam, bam on the knees. All the way across the floor, hands up. Zip it, zip it. Shuffle across to the right. 
This time we're gonna go right, right. So two right punches. Next time we'll be two left punches. High knee across. Run and punch. High knee across. Plank and punch. So squat thrust to get back there. Left, left. Jump in and get back to the shuffle. So get work to get down there. High knee, run and punch. High knee across. Squat thrust down. Back to the right. Left. On the punches. Make that up and down part of the work. That's part of the exercise. Get those knees up. Run and punch. Pop, 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 pop. High knee across. Squat thrust. Left. Right. Jump in and up. High knee across. One more on each side. Come on. Suck it up. High knee across. Squat thrust down. And left. Left. Ah. All right. We are there. We are there. We're going to our... We're going to skip the butt. It's supposed to be butt kick. Shuffle across the floor this time. We're going to skip the butt kick shuffle because we want to get one final round. We want to go out with a freaking bang with that squat, jump, lateral, shuffle. It's not supposed to be squat, jump, lateral, shuffle this round, but that's what we're going to do. Squat, jump, lateral, shuffle. The left side is jack and punch. When the feet go apart, you punch the back. It's going to be the squat, jump across the floor. You get over here. It's going to be crunch and punch. So you're on the ground, sit up, bam, bam. Facebook maybe didn't see me, Instagram did. You're just laying on the floor, on your back, sit up, two punches, keep it moving. All right, let's do it. Squat, jump, lateral, shuffle, kicking it off. To the left, hands up. Squat, jump, lateral, shuffle for a jack and punch. Just one each side, that's it. Squat, jump across. Get onto the floor quickly for your sit up. Sit up. Two punches. Pop up to your feet. Smooth. Show off those break dancing moves. Get across the freaking floor. Jack and punch. Squat, jump across. On your back. Crunch. Remember, left, right this time. Mix it up, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left. Whew. Going out with a bang with these squat jumps. Oh yeah, jack and punch. On the floor. Left, left, or right, right. Hardest part of this round is getting your ass up and down on the floor, isn't it? And pop, pop. Squat, jump across. Hit the floor. We're going right, right this time. You missed that one. Two right hands. Pop up to your feet. Come on, we're rolling. You can do this shit. Modify if you need to. But do not quit. Hit the floor. Two punches. Crunch and punch. Shake it out. Listen up. The recovery process starts right freaking now. I literally have my post-workout shake already pre-made. All the powder is mixed up in a container from Herbalife. It has a built-in funnel. You open on the bottom. It funnels right in. Has all my stuff mixed together I need for post-workout. I just shake it into the water bottle, shake it, and done. So I can have that those nutrients back into me literally within minutes of finishing the workout because your body needs it right now right now more than any time of the day your post-workout meal everyone says breakfast is the most important meal of the day that's bullshit your post-workout meal is your number one most important workout or meal of the day it's when your body your muscles your organs your brain your liver they're all just begging for nutrients. They're begging to rush those nutrients back into the muscle to replenish them. 
to restore them. Right now is the time after the workout. The recovery process starts right now. Let's stretch your shoulders out. Holding it for 20 to 30 seconds. Did a lot of punching, a lot of movements, all those elbows. Stretch it out. Let's fling it open, get the other side. So in addition to this being the most important meal of the day, your body is so receptive to sucking in those nutrients, to recover, to sucking in those carbs, so it can replenish and get ready for the next workout. I have another workout coming up in an hour. I gotta do my lifting still today. So today, Wednesdays, I double up. Maybe even go for a run later. Definitely go for a run or a walk. Probably triple it up today. Filling it open. Let's stretch those quads. But let me tell you, hold that quad stretch. Just hold it. Hold on to something if you need to. I'm gonna tell you something. During this whole quarantine, lockdown, corona, all this, all this bullshit, let me tell you something. About 75% of my workouts have been right here on the peak online workouts. The only other time I'll do it is if I'm doing a meathead lifting workout, maybe once, once every couple of weeks, or a run or a bike ride outside. It's the only other training I've done. And the, here's the thing, here's the catch. The only, really the only live sessions I'm able to make because of my schedule on the peak workouts are the ones that I'm coaching. Maybe I'll make one live session a week. Other than that, I'm just doing the recordings right here by myself in the garage doing the recording of one of the peak coaches' workouts from the day or from the week, or outside in the backyard, or if I'm traveling, you could do it on the beach. I've done recorded workouts for the last five months, probably five of the six days a week that I work out. Well, lately during the quarantine, I've been working out seven days a week. I just realized I've only taken two days off since March 16th, but that's including runs and bike rides and hiking and all that stuff. But I've only done recorded freaking workouts. What's up, Ronnie? What's up, Josephine? So only record where I think about that. And during this time when, when it's hard to get food and hard to get the right things you want to get done and you're not moving around a lot outside, I'm the, the, probably the fittest I've ever been in my life. I have the most energy, the most strength. I'm, I'm more muscle, more conditioning, more cardio, getting record times on my runs, able to just go for, forever and having energy throughout the day, not crashing, not burning, not getting overwhelmed. And here's the thing, keeping me mentally fucking sane. Not getting overwhelmed and stressed with all the craziness going out there with all the, the lockdowns and the businesses shut down and all that stuff. And all I've been doing for training is following these recorded workouts online on our portal. I go in there, see which ones are, are up, pick whether I'm on a boot camp or a boxing, whether I'm on a strength or a cardio, depending on what day I'm on, click on it, and bam, just get to work. It's your decision to make. If you're one of those, oh, I can't work out at home, oh, I need to be in person, oh, I need to be around other people and so those are all bullshit. Those are all excuses. Because what if you weren't able to do that for another six months? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Sit around and wait for six freaking months? Fuck no. Like you gotta make it happen. Even if you can't make these live sessions, the recordings, I'm telling you, that's what's kept me and got me in shape and what's kept me sane this entire time is knowing I have, literally now it's up to several hundreds of backlog workouts in our, in our, in our portal and on our website. I could just go back and pick one from a couple months ago that I didn't do because there's three or four different workouts, a couple, you know, a few different workouts every day. Who can box and they're different. So even though I did one one day, the next day, there's still other workouts I never got to from months ago. It's an unlimited amount of workouts I can get done. So on that note, and that goes for everything. That goes for other, other, your work, your job, other businesses. There's always a way to do it. There's always a way to figure out. There's always a way to adapt and overcome. There's always a way to pivot and figure out how to make things happen, how to stay in shape, how to stay healthy, how to keep your business going. I do online coaching and consulting for leadership and teamwork and communication for companies where I travel all around the country and train and, and go train, train the leaders, train the, the companies, the CEOs, not able to happen. That stuff gets done online too. They're gonna get, you're gonna get this. It's all about getting the, 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 what, the impact and the benefit and the outcome you're looking for. It's all about the outcome. Who gives, it does not matter how you get to the outcome as long as you get to the outcome. All the rest in between are just different variations, different methods. It's all about getting to the outcome. That's it. All the other stuff in between that stops you from getting from where you are to the outcome are all bullshit excuses because there's always a fucking way to make it happen. Always. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, need help with anything, need help with your fitness, your nutrition, need helping with your, your coaching, Need helping, help with accountability? Send me a private message. Let's talk about it. Let's hop on the phone. You are freaking awesome.
Actually, Tyson was was doing this workout. Tyson, anything you want? I have a feeling Tyson wants to say something to you. No! Excuses! Yes, very very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets from. He was actually in the backyard doing this workout, following along live. It was had the shuffling whatever, so we didn't want to be crammed up in here. So he's actually in the backyard doing this on the heavy bag. So I will talk to you later. If you need anything, send a message, reach out. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.